Hi, my name is Josh Davis. I'm from California. And uh, my question is, at the end of chapter five, it talks about how um, the apostles suffered shame for Christ's name, but that they rejoiced, that they were worthy to do so. And um, my question is, I was just wondering how we can rejoice even when we feel ashamed or when we're going through hard times. I think that's really telling even in our day. There's, there can be a shame culture in our day when we stand for truth and righteousness, stand up for those principles, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I think that rejoicing comes because of the Holy Ghost, because of that renewal, because of that sense of peace that comes into us. Even if the world around us is mocking and making fun of, putting in prison, we can rejoice that we were counted worthy have the opportunity to bear testimony of Jesus Christ. So I think that rejoicing comes as a fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. I think there's confidence that comes when we walk uprightly before God, when we testify of Jesus Christ. That's the mission and role of the Holy Ghost. And so when we do that work, we engage in testifying of Christ, the Holy Ghost will strengthen us and cause rejoicing in us even if those around us aren't rejoicing about our testimony. Mm -hmm. So I think it's an internal thing that uh, comes from the Holy Ghost strengthening us as we testify of Christ. I would say I feel probably most poorly or bad when I feel internal dissonance that I'm not doing what I know I should or I've displeased Heavenly Father or I've let him down. Okay. So I think acting in a way that I feel like I've witnessed for him like I should have, that piece like Shane was talking about, I think that's a better piece than what I would get from praise from the world. Because I know that I'm honoring my covenants and I'm at peace with God. Mm -hmm.